Hello everyone, my name is Devashish and I welcome you all to this video. So in this video, we are going to explore virus total graph. Uh, so once you log into virus total intelligence, you know, on the left upper left corner, you are going to see an option which points to virus total.com slash graph. Uh, if you just click on it, it is going to take you to the user interface of virus total graph. So this is what you usually get to see once you log in to virus total graph. And this is the search uh, bar where usually you will start your investigation from. And uh, if you are new to virus total graph, uh, you can, you know, start there, uh, start with their sample graph they have provided uh, for, you know, different WannaCry samples. Uh, so that is a, I usually recommend people to you know start with this one so uh, okay uh, so let's keep that aside and I'll uh, start my investigation uh, from here uh, so usually you have an option to start your investigation with a IP address uh, um, a file hash uh, or a uh, domain name whatever so I'm going to start uh, this with a file hash uh, that I'm going to paste it here and press enter So as you can see, uh, it is providing me an option to start a new graph investigation. I'll click it. I'll click on it. So you are going to see something like this. Uh, so let me quickly explain what you uh, are actually, you know, getting to see here. This is the title of your graph. I'll just rename it to sample graph. Uh, I can save it later on. Okay, and this is the file hash, and these are some of the you know file properties uh, that you see, get to see on the left side. Uh, this is the detection country, uh, Canada, and some other country it was uploaded from. And um, now let's come to the main window. As you can see, uh, this is actually a document file, the DOCX file uh, that hash we have provided here. So this is our root node of that graph. And as you can see, uh, and this is actually the file relationship uh, since and DOCX files are usually you know compressed XML fi files and they are known as open XML file as well. So this file was having these 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 files uh, different XML files uh, within it. So it you know the graph actually visually represents that fact and mm, and this is uh, what you know uh, now let me explain some other uh, component of this graph as well. Uh, so uh, this I have already told this is a bundle file so this is going to you know give you some more details about individual files that was you know uh, part of this particular package and after that let's go to this uh, this particular node uh, so this node is known as uh, the relationship nodes and it is actually you know uh, it gives you the, the once the file was executed within the sandbox uh, the IP address it contacted uh, so as you can see uh, it uh, contacted one IP address which was located in uh, Russia and uh, mm, Russia and uh, it, it is give you it is giving you uh, some details of that antivirus scan uh, some uh, the IP address scan as well whether you know it found it as malicious or not so uh, so far there is no detection uh, and as you can see we are getting some of the details and now we'll come to this later on and after that uh, we have this thing um, this node is uh, if you see a symbol like this which means uh, if you click on it it is going to give you similar files and it is going to explore that and um, and it is also you know giving you uh, the one there, there is one more node that is available here uh, from directly which is which has direct relationship with this doc which is you know contacted URLs uh, so as you can see uh, this particular file uh, this particular file when it was executed it contacted these URLs uh, uh, HTTP S colon double slash uh, it was an IP address basically and it was reaching that IP address over you know 8080 port and uh, this file was uploaded uh, to virus total on 2037 2018 and it was uploaded only once so these are all the details that it is giving uh, so now if you just uh, Mm, if you just you know uh, suppose you want to you know know more information about this particular URL so you just you can select it you can right click on it and you get couple of options you can pin and pin node uh, you can edit labels yeah so uh, as you can see you are getting some details of this in this particular uh, particular IP address or URL uh, as you can see this was this URL was first seen by virus total on this particular date uh, so now let's uh, 
so uh, once uh, once you see these nodes if you right click on these nodes you are getting you get to see some other options as well uh, so i'll try to uh, this although this video is going to be sh very short i'll be you know try, i'll try to explain the most interesting one or the most useful one uh, so let's uh, go here uh, as you can see uh, let's go come to this node here uh, as you can see the docx file was actually you know compressed file and it was having these 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 xml file within this file and this particular file within this docx file having maximum number of detection which is 34 uh, which means that this was having that malicious payload which was actually detected by most of the antivirus so now uh, if you right click on it uh, and do uh, go here full expansion uh, you are going to get lot of interesting information so let's uh, put it like this here as you can see once we expanded uh, expanded uh, this particular uh, node here uh, as you can see uh, it is also pointing giving us some similar files uh, which is which was also a docx file uh, and also and since since this was actually you know coming out of a docx file that that is why it is showing that it was you know the parent is a compressed parent and uh, okay uh, now uh, go to this one as well uh, this is the ip address where you know it uh, this uh, docx file actually contacted once it was executed in the sandbox so let's go to this node right click and uh, do full expansion yeah we have some few more nodes uh, so let's see uh, what all information we are getting here Mm, so uh, as you can see this particular IP address actually you know uh, domain uh, resolved to this particular IP address which means that these 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 domains were actually you know pointing to this particular IP address for example 498brwme.com uh, wvworkplacelaw.com uh, hitshop2.ru uh, nick n-i-k-u-l-i-n dot host so these all domain names were actually you know uh, pointing to this particular ip address so there is a possibility that you know those are mean any compromised domain or compromised website or you know this those were actually registered for malicious purpose only uh, so and one more note that you know newly appeared here is url uh, as you can see uh, this particular node says url scanned that were hosted on the same ip address uh, so uh, virus total has actually encountered other urls as well which were actually you know scanned within the infra virus total infrastructure and that was actually you know hosted in the same uh, ip address which is 82.2.2.236.125 and and we can see uh, those urls are actually you know different paths as you can see uh, it's uh, iaw it is a random path and those are actually different paths uh, that were actually hosted uh, so which actually you know definitely you know uh, gives you more scope for uh, further investigation and okay so this is one of the thing and this is uh, one more uh, node that has appeared once we fully expanded this particular so let's see what it says uh, it says that file that communicated with that ip address upon execution in a sandbox sandbox environment uh, so these are the you know other files uh, that were actually encountered or you know submitted to virus total it actually contacted the same ip address uh, com uh, so communicated with the same IP address uh, which is this one and these are actually you know uh, other uh, files that were submitted to virus total but it it was actually upon execution it was communicating to the same uh, IP uh, same IP address so which means uh, most probably uh, those uh, files were actually you know uh, distributed by uh, one particular uh, malicious actor or uh, so as you can see if, if we explore this particular node hmm, this was our root node and this is already expanded so uh, so if we full expansion do, do a full expansion on this as you can see we are getting multiple things here uh, as you can see last serving IP address uh, so let's explore this particular uh, node uh, full expansion if you do here so as you can see uh, this particular domain Niku, uh, Nikulin host actually you know was also seen to uh, you know point uh, to be pointing to some other IP address other than this one what we have seen as you can see we are getting this IP addresses as well uh, it will obviously you know uh, help you uh, understand 
the the scale of you know attack or scale of the the threat uh, how large scale it is uh, so this is how actually you know virus total helps you to you know correlate different different files and different different urls different different uh, and different different vector uh, events together and you know track down a uh, large scale targeted attack uh, so as you can see uh, since uh, this is uh, i wanted to make this video very short so i am uh, not going to much deep but the thing is if you explore uh, like this right uh, definitely it is it, it is pretty interesting so if you have access to vt graph you should definitely you know uh, explore more uh, so if you have any doubt or confusion on VT graph, uh, please let me know in the comment section or uh, DM me. I will definitely try to, you know, resolve your doubt or query. Uh, so uh, that's all I wanted to discuss in today's video. Uh, I hope you have found this video useful. If you like the kind of content I upload on my channel, uh, please consider subscribing to this channel. Uh, so thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.